another Adam Sandler movie dropping directly on Netflix, but this one is uh, in a little bit of a different vein. This is Sandler in drama mode. Let's talk about the sports drama, Hustle. Hey guys, Dan here. This is Dan Reviews It. Welcome to my spoiler-free review for the new Netflix film, Hustle. This stars Adam Sandler. It's part of his Happy Madison contracts uh, with the streaming site. And so far, we've gotten a lot of the uh, hilarious, you know, that's in quotes, um, you know, Sandler brand humor from movies. Um, and whereas we've seen his dramatic chops a little bit elsewhere, Uncut Gems certainly was not a Netflix original. I think you can get it on there now. But uh, but this one, Hustle, is direct to Netflix, and it is most definitely a drama. There's some comedic elements too, but uh, I think for the most part, we can classify this as a sports drama. So uh, Sandler plays Stanley Sugarman, who is uh, part of the Philadelphia 76ers uh, travel scout team, but he uh, has some loftier goals. He wants to be a coach, and more importantly, kind of stay at home to help raise uh, his daughter with his wife, played by Queen Latifah. However, he ends up, uh, you know, he ends up maybe getting uh, an assistant coach gig, and then it gets pulled out from him, so he is back on the road again. And in Spain, uh, he discovers this dude, Bo Cruz, who is played here by Juancho Hernan Gomez. I don't know if that's close to correct. I don't watch basketball, but he is a real basketball player. He's currently playing for the Utah Jazz, but I looked him up and he's been on like a handful of different teams in the last few years. Um, so maybe he, maybe he's like a Terry Crews where he sort of goes from team to team for a little while, but then finds acting is uh, his ultimate desire um, because he's actually not bad here. We'll get into all of that, but he plays this Bo Cruz dude who uh, is an amazing basketball player, but he's got a little bit of a troubled past that comes to light during the uh you know the draft season um so sugarman has to figure out what to do with that and the two sort of bond over their love of family and love of basketball and uh, since i'm a philly guy you know i have an immediate sort of adoration for this movie because there are a lot of philly sites on there um you know the 76ers name and logo is used a lot and there's a couple of really classic 76ers in the movie i don't really want to tip my hand to any of the cameos, I think, because um, I think for basketball players, or fans rather, that will be a lot of fun to see who all is in this movie. Uh, I'll be honest, a lot of the current players that appear in this movie, I don't know. Uh, but there's some legends here uh, that I certainly do know, and this was produced, and he's not in the movie, I don't think anyway, um, but Kobe, or, or not Kobe, excuse me, LeBron James, uh, Kobe is mentioned in the movie, but of course he, he has passed on, so, uh, but LeBron James is one of the producers of this movie, and of course, you know, the two of them sort of uh, got on Uncut Gems together as well, so they, they formed a partnership that way, um, and, uh, you know, there is a part in this movie where he's talking about how great LeBron is. That's a little on the nose. I hate it when, you know, there's sort of a wink-wink about the producer or the director. Um, you know, if they're a famous person, they're saying, oh, yeah, you know, th this guy's great. All right, we didn't maybe need that line. Um, and this movie on the whole, I think, borrows from a lot of sports dramas, both in the, you know, scouting and recruiting vein and in the sort of troubled player vein, but you've got things from, you know, Jerry Maguire and Million Dollar Arm, and there's a lot of different movies um, that are sort of being cherry-picked here for this. Um, but I do think that Sandler, although it's not as great as his Uncut Gems performance, I think, uh, I don't think he's ever given a performance quite like that. Um, this is a very good Sandler dramatic performance. Um, I think it maybe is a little safe for him, um, in fact, at one point he's yelling on the phone and it does get into the classic Sandler, you know, 90s territory when he gets overexcited and starts screaming. <sighs> you know, it doesn't quite come off as comedic because it's not supposed to. But when I was watching it, I was like, oh, he's getting into the Sandler mode here. Um, so I, I, I would say that this is a serviceable performance. I think it's it's fine, um, you know, but when we just had, a, you know, a recent basketball movie a couple of years ago with Ben Affleck, um, The Way Back, which was, like, phenomenal. I really, really loved it. Um, you know, this performance, I think, I, I think serviceable is a good term for it. But I will say uh, his camaraderie and chemistry with uh, Hernan Gomez 
is pretty good. You know, th this dude is a fairly good actor. I've never seen him or heard of him. Um, you know, but basketball fans may know him. Um, but, you know, he actually does have a, a nice chemistry with Sandler. Uh, I don't think Sandler really has much chemistry at all with Queen Latifah, if I'm being perfectly honest. But she's a, a pretty minor part of this film, so I'm not going to take too many points off for that. Um, and I will give Adam Sandler this. Even though this is a Happy Madison production, other than Shaquille O'Neal, which, uh, you know, he's been in the Grown Ups movies, he's, he's sort of an, a Sandler regular at this point. Um, nobody else is here. You know, David Spade is not here, Kevin James, Henry Winkler. Um, you know, so clearly this was a movie that was, I think, I think it was brought to Sandler sort of after the fact. And he was like, okay, you know, we'll produce it through Hattie Madison. But it makes a lot of sense for Shaq to be here because he's playing himself doing basketball commentary. So great. We love that. You know, that one stands to reason. And that's sort of the only cameo I'm going to give you. But um, but I, I like that he sort of shied away from uh, from doing that whole bit. So overall, I do think um, this is a bit of a cliche movie. But I will say, uh, you know, I think Sandler gives a decent performance. It is not great. It's decent. Um, but I do like his camaraderie here with the uh, the basketball player. And you know, some of the action is is pretty interesting. You know, I'm not a basketball watcher, and really, um, we don't see a lot of action until towards the end of the movie. Um, so this is definitely more about the drama than it is about, you know, the nature of the sport. Um, and look, I'm not up on all my sports stuff, but does a lot of this seem a bit unrealistic in terms of, you know, scouting and recruiting? Yeah, I would say so. But again, maybe I just don't know. Maybe it's very authentic um, and it just seems to be a, a little too much movie magic. But in any case, uh, I think this is an all right movie. I will leave Hustle with a B minus. All right, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time on Damn Reviews It. Bye.